Hi, welcome to Happy Coding. Today we are going to see the quick view of Power BI and its features. First we will see what Power BI is. It is a cloud-based business intelligence tool introduced by Microsoft for creating interactive reports. Even complex reports can be created with the data available in various sources in formats like files, database, Azure, and others. Power BI for desktop and mobile versions are also available. Business users can create their own reports with absolutely no code. Sign up for Power BI absolutely free by going to the website powerbi.microsoft.com. How to make use of Power BI. It follows three-step process to create reports. Step 1. Get connected to data. Step 2. Manipulate or shape the data, and then. Step 3. Build reports. As mentioned earlier we can create interactive reports and dashboards by importing data from various data sources. Power BI supports various data sources like files, databases, Azure cloud services, and also few sauce. Power BI reports or dashboard can be shared to other users within your team or organization. How to connect with data from Power BI. From the query window of Power BI you will see get data, refer figure 1 for fetching data from external sources like file, database, Azure, and other sources. Few common data sources used are Excel files, CSV, XML, text files, AccessDB, SQL Server, Web URL, OData feeds, OLEDB and SharePoint list. You may need to provide access credentials for few connections. How to shape or manipulate data using Power BI. Once you have the data imported, Refer figure 1, to Power BI, you can query data based on different filter criteria. Power BI also offers features like merging, changing type of the fields in data model, removing duplicates, transform, group by, split column and fill options. Merge, append queries are also available. Once you are done with queries and data model, select close and apply as shown in figure 2. Building reports using Power BI. We need to select the report icon as shown in the figure 1. Then other settings for the report view has to be done. They are visualizations, values, filters and fields to be filtered as shown in figure 2. In visualizations we can select the type of graph, axis, column, and line values. Finally after designing the report we need to publish the report by using the button in the top ribbon. If you like this video please do subscribe, like, share and comment. Please visit our blog happy4coding.blogspot.com for technical blogs related to Microsoft technologies. Hope you might have got some idea about Power BI. For more videos on Power BI, learn more at https://powerbi.microsoft.com.